Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. There is an online version of Excel you can use. It runs inside your browser. Maybe you're on the road somewhere and you don't have a computer with Excel installed, or maybe you're doing some collaboration with other people. Who knows? If you want to use Excel in a browser, you can do it. And you don't have to use Microsoft's browser. I use it in Google Chrome, and of course, Microsoft and Google are competitors. You probably have access to it already simply through your Microsoft Office account. If you don't have one, you can set it up and you can use it for free. So if you need to use Excel and you don't have a license, you could go and create an account on office.com for free and then start using Excel. Now, you might be wondering, well, why doesn't everybody do that? Why am I paying for Excel? And the answer is the free version, the online version, is not as robust. It doesn't have every feature that the desktop version has. And if you're doing it free, of course, there are other limitations. So let me go and show you how you could get into it and also how you can take your data, how you can take your worksheet and flip it back and forth between the online version and the desktop version. So let's take a look, see how it works. So after you log into Office, you'll get a screen that looks something like this, or you may see all of the Office program icons uh, arranged all over the screen. This website tends to change a little bit here and there, but you'll have to log in. You notice that in my toolbar, it uh, says auth equals one. So that's how it knows that I'm logged in. Also this little message, now I'm recording this um, in late October 2022, and Microsoft recently decided that they're going to change. Instead of calling it Office 365, they're going to call it Microsoft 365. It, just marketing, really, who cares? So you notice on the left, here are all of the icons for the Microsoft Office programs. And guess what? We're going to go to Excel. Going to click that. It says, OK, well, what do you want to do? Now, just like the desktop version you see over here is a list of whatever files that you've had open recently. If there's one that you want to remove, you can simply right click, remove from list, and then it's going to be gone. And also just like the desktop version, you have some built-in templates. I'm just going to go and create a blank workbook. And you see this looks and feels and tastes very much like the desktop version. But as I said, there are some limitations. Let's just get some stuff on the screen quickly. and. You'll see Excel in the browser has a lot of the features that the desktop version has, like autofill, for example. And I'm just going to put some data here. And I could go and do pretty much anything with this that I normally would. So like maybe if I want to get a total of these, I have my auto sum tool and I can use that and everything works just great. And all of the functions that you have in the desktop version you have here. Now there are some differences, of course. No, notice the ribbon bar is not this big gargantuan thing that you have on the desktop. But the main thing is, you see this says save to OneDrive. Unlike the desktop version, you don't have to go and manually save every so often. Yes, there is an auto save on the desktop. I hate it. But um, over here, if I go to the file tab, you notice there is no save. Now there is save as, so I could go and rename it and put it somewhere, but there's no regular save. We have the regular tabs, insert, and that has most of the charts that you would use. The draw, if you're doing any kind of drawing with a touch screen, page layout, formulas. Also, you notice that this is not quite as robust, but this has the stuff you'd use probably about 80% of the time. Now, once you're in here and doing your work, maybe you just want this to be read-only visual. So up there, you have this drop-down for editing, and you can click that and choose viewing. I'm not going to do that because that's going to freeze the whole screen. You could also choose open in desktop app. So here's how we can take this worksheet and flip it back and forth. So 
I'm going to choose Open a Desktop App. And that opens it up. I'm just going to put a total row here. So let's call this total. OK, so I've made some simple changes. Now, what I want to do is go here from this desktop app. Let me, I can actually just stretch it out. It opened up really small. You can see this is really the full Excel. So I could take this and go right back to the online version. I don't even have to save this. I'm just going to go and close this. I'm just going to hit the close button here. Now, this is the Mac version. This works exactly the same way on the Windows version. Resume editing here. And there it is. So you see it takes a few moments to go and update and refresh, but there it is. So you see we can very easily flip back and forth. Now, we could do this also a little bit more manually. If I go to the File tab and then go to Save As, then I can go here and download a copy and that will also just simply download, just like you're downloading any old file, and it'll be on there on your machine. Maybe I want to go and share the work that I'm doing with someone else. I could go up here to share. Now I could copy a link, and then I can go and email that link to someone or hit this share button. And then I would simply fill in the name or email address, whatever it is, whichever way I'm sending it, and they're going to go and receive it, or just another way of copying the link rather than from that button. I could go here and copy it and then email it to them. So let me go and give this an actual name. So I'll go back to the File tab and rename this workbook. I'm going to save it in OneDrive. Okay, so now we have a file name. So let's go back to that main Office screen. So I'll just hit the Waffle menu. So we're back to that screen. And when I scroll down, I can see there is that recent file. Click that, and we go right back, or I go back to that waffle menu, hit Office. There we are. And now I can click the Excel button there, and I'm kind of right back, pretty much the same screen. I can, again, start with a brand new workbook, blank workbook, or use one of the templates, or I could go and use one of the other Office applications. So that's pretty cool. And you can see that wherever you go, as long as you have an internet connection, you always have some version of Microsoft Excel that you can use. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.